What is going on you guys? So today we're at the Porsche Experience Center and Porsche has invited me out here so that way I can show you guys what to expect when you visit this place. And the best part is that this is open to the public. You don't have to own a Porsche. You don't even have to own a sports car. Anyone can come here and this is what you're gonna have to expect. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so once you're inside, there's a lot of cool stuff, especially if you're a Porsche enthusiast. This is single-handedly one of the best places you can go to, at least in the United States. Now, going to Germany is a whole nother thing, but there's two locations, one here in Los Angeles, which is where I'm at, and there's one in Atlanta, Georgia. But uh, there's so many cool cars around here, and if you like the race cars, look at what's behind this window. How cool is that? And then there's also a GT4 Club Sport here, which just looks so good. Okay, so next step is you have this Porsche accessory center, basically. So you can get anything from watches, there's pens, there's scents if you want to smell Porsche, there's jackets, there's shirts, there's sunglasses, there's exhaust tips. I mean, there, you can get anything Porsche related here. But one of my favorite things has to be right over here. You have these little model Porsche race cars. And if you go to the Atlanta location, they have them chronologically ordered and it's just so, so cool. But let's go ahead and see what else is in here. Okay, so you saw the 917. If you guys don't know the 917, it's Porsche's race car. Really famous for the Le Mans race. And because it was such a celebrated victory with that car, they represent it right here with a bunch of champagne bottles. It's, it's kind of a cool little touch and there's so many small details all throughout this place that really show off Porsche's heritage. But one cool thing is you do have a viewing area up here. So out here in the viewing area, you can come out, relax, and you can take a look at what's going on around the track. Okay, so one of the coolest places in this entire facility, obviously other than the track, is the simulator lab. So in here, you can drive different types of Porsches on different tracks. The Nürburgring, you can do Laguna Seca. There's even a virtual version of this track setup, and it's super cool. But almost just as cool, right down here, if you guys follow me over here, there's an area where someone is actually getting their car delivered to them. And the cool part is they can actually take you on the track. You can drive a car that's similar to the one you're getting because obviously the last thing you want is to wreck your car out on the track. You go out there, get familiar with your car. They cover it up here, unveil it. You get to take pictures with it, all kinds of cool stuff. And it really makes your Porsche experience super unique. But they've already taken the covers off, so let's go ahead and see what they got. Looks like they got a Boxster. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's a manual. So at least we know we got some Porsche enthusiasts coming through here. But I'm gonna go ahead and head out to the track. So let's go ahead and get started. Super excited. Um, full disclosure, I've actually never driven like a Porsche car before. So surprisingly, it's evaded me like my whole YouTube car reviewing career. Uh, so I'm very excited to get behind the wheel. And obviously I got my GoPro and stuff to give you guys my impression. So let's go ahead and get started. Excited. We're going to head down to the right and you're going to see a black Cayman GTS. Yeah. All right, you guys. So we're doing the follow lead right now in the 718 Cayman GTS. I'm in a GTS, he's in a GTS. And it's my first time driving a GTS, so I'm very, very excited. All right, Forrest, so we're just gonna head out around our handling circuit. 
starting out, we want to get a little bit of a feel for the car. If it's available, we'll dive off into that autocross section just so you can get a sense for the steering, throttle, and brake. But for now, we're going to look over our right shoulder, make sure there's no traffic coming. And you can just follow me out. We'll maintain about two car lengths of spacing, so pretty close. And we'll just cruise around. Perfect. Now, if you've never driven you a came... some important signs coming up on the left. That red triangle is a braking marker. That means you're entering a braking marker, or a braking zone, sorry. And then the yellow and black chevrons are just turning references. So this one in front, you can use as something to line up with in the distance to help follow the driving line. We can also use them as distance markers for when we want to start our turns. So this next straightaway, you'll see both of those types of signs coming up. I go all the way to the triangle, then I'm going to use a light brake. I'm holding the left edge of the road all the way to the first chevron arrow, then I turn across. So that's how we use those signs out on the circuit. There's not a braking sign every single time we need to touch the brakes, only in those heavier braking zones. Okay, dope. So if you guys didn't catch any of that, basically he's explaining how this track is set up, where the braking zones are, what the signs mean, and all that good stuff. So they're very thorough in letting you know what to expect. And uh, it's cool because... Coming around, this is one of our, we call them carousel turns. The long corner, you have to be patient because we don't want to pick the throttle up too early. You get almost all the way around close to that right edge. Then you start to accelerate as you line up with the hill. So important here, you want to keep your vision ahead of the car. So we should already be looking up to the top of the hill. As you go over the crest, aim your vision to the left. We want to look for the bottom of the hill. We'll put the car tight on the left. And then that lines us up to really go up the middle of this S-turn. The next thing you're going to see, we have a braking marker on the left that red triangle. We'll be straight in on the brakes, aiming for our turning arrow. And then your vision should be around to the left, looking for a blue cone. Perfect. So I know that head turn feels exaggerated at these speeds, but that's exactly the technique you want to work on. So here, looking out the side window, picking up another blue cone. So try to drive your car as close to that blue cone as you can. out onto the straightaway holding the left until the first black chevron. So keep our spacing pretty tight, aim for about two or two and a half car lengths. Perfect. So on the road this would feel like tailgating a little bit. That's okay here. Alright you guys here we go. So this is a very technical course, uh, very tight, and um, it just really brings out the handling characteristics of this Cayman, which is perfect because this car handles so well. On the brakes, coming up to this first Chevron, and then we're gonna toss it in. Ooh, nice transitions, look at that. Got some nice burbles on the when I let off the throttle. And the PDK works flawlessly. I have it in just automatic mode right now. Um, we may go to manual mode a little bit later, but I was advised just to keep it here for now. And I mean, look at that. this thing handles so well. As you unwind, just get on the power and <laughs> this thing really does go. Looking towards that blue cone right here, unwind. 
too wide right there on the brakes. I'm gonna brush the brakes, throw it in here. Oh, that was a nice pop right there. Nice, and you can feel the rear end just kind of play with you a little bit. So right then I felt it barely come around, but it's it communicates with you so well that you know that it's coming. Gosh, that PDK shifts so fast, it's so good. tight corner here got another tight one right here this one's really fun there we go and yeah the transitions are beautiful in this car onto the brakes really using all this track right now This is really cool. There's this part of the track that has this carousel, which imitates the carousel that's on the Nurburgring. And this is so cool. Oh. <laughs> How awesome is that? And only the LA location has that, I believe. So if you live in LA and you wanna do this, remember this is open to the public. You don't have to own a Porsche. You don't even have to own a sports car. You just pay what you need to. You come out here, you right, so have this experience, and it's awesome. We do need to watch more traffic here. Now, other than spending time on the track, there are a lot of other things you do at the Porsche Experience Center. So, for example, you are able to do a skid pad where you can test out the traction, see the limits of the car. That way you can figure out where the car likes to break loose. You can get familiar with your vehicle that way. There is another area that basically knocks you sideways. That way you can learn to counter steer. And then there's just lots of things that they do there. And what the Porsche likes to call it is a development track. So it's basically there to help you hone your skills as a Porsche vehicle owner or a future Porsche vehicle owner. But there are obviously skills you can use in everyday circumstances, especially if you have like a rear wheel drive car or anything like that, it can be very beneficial. So it's a really cool place to spend time. And to end the video, I'm gonna show you guys my last lap on the track. All right, you guys, so this is the end of my session. This is the final lap, so we're gonna get on it.
guys, you have to drive one of these. It is awesome. No brakes. So if you guys have headphones, if I didn't mention it already, throw them on because I'm using binaural audio and when you hear that PDK shift, the thunk it makes is so intoxicating. Well, everyone, that's gonna wrap up the Porsche Experience Center. Experience, it's really, really cool. Um, check the link in my description. You guys can go straight to the website. So if you live in LA, if you live in Atlanta, you can come check this place out. Like I said, it doesn't matter who you are, anyone can come here. Uh, obviously, you gotta pay the money to do the experience, but it's, it's well worth it if you've never experienced a Porsche. Uh, it's just a really cool place to be, and if you love colors, I love this color wall, especially guessing my favorite color which is Miami blue and it says it there on <laughs> the back so yeah pretty cool place and I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're new to my channel and you love car content be sure to subscribe it's free to you but it helps out the channel a lot and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video y'all take care bye